guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, Karibu Sana, it's Makeup by Wanjiru. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always supporting my channel. So if you normally watch my videos and you do not subscribe, guys, subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and share to your friends. And so today's video, it's all about friendly beginner makeup. So let's see each other on the video. First thing you have to use your spoolie to comb your eyebrows in an upwards motion and guys you have to remove the excess or the growth of your brows so when you start in drawing your brows you have to start at the corner of the nose at that area follow the structure of the brows and make sure that you've not overlined just follow that structure of the eye and then on the upper side guys because we want our brows to be so natural don't start at the don't start at the tip of that brows but rather have a little space and then you draw starting at the middle or at the quarter of that brow so after that you fill in with your eye pencil and for my beginners because this video is for beginners makeup eh? make sure you're using bros davis i pencil davis number 18 for my shade and for a dark shade i pencil number three so after that you use your spoolie and then you conceal i'm concealing with the concealer shade phone and with a flat angle or angle brush So when you're concealing, you have to conceal with a concealer to lighter shade of your skin. So concealing helps in making your brows to pop or m removing the excess that maybe when you're drawing, you have a little mistake. So just follow that structure of the way you've drawn your brows when you're concealing and conceal when you drag downwards so that it may not have an harsh line when you apply you're applying the eyeshadow and then on the upper side make sure you're using the concealer that suits your skin color so don't use your concealer but rather use the foundation that matches your skin color so i'm going with that foundation maybe line foundation and again follow the structure always follow the structure if you want to have a flawless eyebrows or you have you want to achieve a nice brows guys always follow your structure and make sure your brows is well trimmed so on my next step is the eyeshadow so Again, this video is for beginners. I don't want to use, to, uh, to use more product, but only I'm using only a little or simple eyeshadow. So before you apply the eyeshadow, you have to apply base. And our base is the concealer. So I'm using the same, same concealer that I used in cleaning the brows. And today's eyeshadow palette, I'm using Huda, that shade. And we have outer corner and inner corner. So guys, outer corner, never use a shimmer concealer. And outer corner is where I'm pointing right now. There is where we call the outer corner going to the inner corner. So outer corner always use a matte eyeshadow. And matte eyeshadow are the matte shadow that are powderish. While shimmer eyeshadow are shimmer products that are glittery so you have to use to make sure that you've you've tapped well in around i've used my fluffy brush 
and then in my inner corner i will not conceal but ra rather i will use that shimmery eyeshadow with a different palette so where i'm concentrating right now it's inner corner so that's how you 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 have to achieve your eyeshadow and the eyebrows and make sure you've blended them well so my next step is the face and my biggest thing that i've learned when coming to makeup is blending you have to take your time in blending and when you learn blending it becomes easy and easier and your makeup gets flawless the more you blend and we shall be discussing all that right now like for example so the first thing when it comes to applying makeup is primer so first of all apply your moisturizer i've applied my moisturizer and then after moisturizer apply the primer primer is very important because it perfect your skin and not only does it protect your skin but create a smooth canvas for you to apply your makeup if you didn't know at least you've known the reason for primer just think about the painters and you want to paint it smoothly so that how it goes with the makeup the primer creates a smooth texture for makeup application so after primer i'm using my foundation from maybelline i love a maybelline foundation so make sure that you're using a sponge and the sponge is supposed to be damp not dry and also guys don't drag but rather tap it around and then the remaining product come to the eye the reason i still we need the remaining product not the fresh product on the eye it's because we're gonna use the highlighter so when you you use the fresh product that is foundation and then you use the highlighter and then we set where we've highlighted trust me you are your under eye will be so crazy so that's why we normally love using a remaining product and then on the forehead start from the brows going to the hairline not hairline coming to the brows but brows to the hairline to avoid the harsh line so make sure you blended it nicely and well take your time in blending guys if you need a flawless makeup and then again the concealer that i used in cleaning my brows is the concealer that i'm using in highlighting so the next step is highlighting and i'm highlighting with the concealer shade fawn two lighter shade of my skin so we highlight where light reflect on the that is under eye nose forehead and mouth area so after you've highlighted give it like two minutes and then come back and press it remember we are highlighting so this is not a foundation whereby we will apply in all face you're just tapping in that particular area if you you don't have different sponges or because it's a beginner makeup you can use that one sponge you just flip up on this side if you had used in a foundation this side flip up on the other side where it's clean and then you tap you use on highlighting and then make sure you've blended it well that they will not have they will not have any demarcation line and after that the next step is contouring again you can use the same same sponge you flip on the other side now so you have to make sure that when you are contouring your contour is it's like it is an arc in a way it's not straight you can use your hands and then you do what i'm doing it will guide you for a first step because i know highlighting and contouring it's somehow tricky to beginners so when you're tapping now in this movement you have to tap in a circular motion circular motion just give it a shoot circular motion yeah yes and um after that i want to contour my nose and i'm using a concealer 
darker shade so guys highlighter is a light shade shade well contour it's a darker shade so you have to use you can use powder contour you can use concealer you can use foundation any is allowed so long as it's a dark shade and then after that we had not highlighted where we con we concealed so you have to to set sorry not highlighting but we have to set where we had highlighted and don't bake gone are the old days where we used to bake we give it like 10 to 15 minutes and then we come back remove our powder no we have we are not baking we just set and then tap blow the excess set that's how you're going to use and i've used my powder for setting it's a banana shade there is a clear one yeah but i really love either these are not the clear one the clear one for beginners it's tricky so use the banana one so after that we want to use blusher and for you guys who have been watching my videos you know i love lipstick as a blusher yes there is a lot of blushers product but i really love red lipstick because i want a natural thing so you know when you're applying lipstick you have to use the sponge that you used in applying foundation so it will give you that natural look and that's what i want after that i'm going to use a finishing powder i lock all the product that i've used in this video so that is my like uh that that last product take your time and then the good thing about the finishing powder it helps you remove the demarcation line that you've created in between so after that we use our second last that is finishing spray so don't be too generous and don't be too stingy just be neutral make sure you've covered your products well next step now it's my lipstick i want to use a lip liner i know i've never used lip liner i'm an ombre person but because this video it's for a beginner i don't i didn't want to to complicate things i wanted my fellow followers and subscribers to understand and to get this makeup well so i'm using a lip liner that is davis number three after that i will i'll come back with my lipstick i can't remember the shade of that lipstick and when you're applying if you're applying to two lipsticks or lip liner and the lipstick make sure that you blended them nicely to avoid the marcation line after that the last product it's the bronzer so that it may give my face glow it may glow bronzer the work of bronzer it's it helps in glowing the face that's why we love making glowy faces after we've set the face so thank you very much for watching my video till next time guys bye